hi everyone welcome back so these are the fabric we are going to be using for this tutorial i have the abba line in here and the ankara print i also have as you can see i also have the lace material okay so let's proceed to the folding of the clothes this is a damp part folded i have the front and the back folded as you can see at the back is the one that has extra two inches two, one and a half inch for the zipper allowance so i'm going to start right away the starting point the hedge will start at serve as the starting point which will be our waist also and then i'm going to mark the upper hip and the lower hip using six and nine inches okay i'll draw my tapro out or i'll draw my tapro up for us to get the knee length the knee length we are working with is 32 inches okay so i drew the they pro up to the half length area and then mark out the 32 inches as you see okay so the next thing is to start imputing our body circumference if you observe that i'm using the whole length of the ankara i have my reason for that which i'm going to explain as we proceed in this tutorial now we will impute our waist circumference which is 31 inches i divided by four that gave me 7.75 I will mark that out and then add two and a half extra inches for sewing and that allowance okay so two and a half i'll mark that and then next is our hip for our hip the hip circumference is 41 and a half divided by four that's 10.75 i'm going to i folded the clothes right adding two and a half extra inches that's why i didn't bother to mark anything there I just use my cuff ruler to make a connect of the hip to the waist as you can see and then we we'll proceed to our hip what we all so our knee length what we have on the hip just like we used to do either remove one and a half or two inches okay so what i'm going to do is remove two inches from what i have one and a half rather from what i have on my hip and then i'll mark it out and then use the cuff ruler to connect the point together after connecting the points guys the next thing we are going to do is extend the line of the knee length to the m line of the dress okay so the same thing we have on, on at the knee length is what will take down to the m of the dress so i'm just going to mark it there and then pick my wooden ruler to connect the two points together right away that's that to so the damp part of the dress i'll just pick my scissors and then cut the whole thing out now let's get back to the lining parts i talked about initially so i've gone ahead to cut the lining i cut 38 inches out as you can see why the ankara length is 46 inches you see the way i folded the ankara on the lining by the time i sew it we should have our desired length okay so you see now i have 41 and a half inches there which is the length i want for the damp part of the dress do you see okay so it's just there's the way it adds some beauty to your sewing okay that's why we did that let's proceed to the upper part of our of our dress i've gone ahead to mark out the basic lines needed and as you know that it has a continuation which we use lace for let me just label what we have there for you to know what we are actually doing okay so the first line there is the chest line and you see the way i place my tape roll okay the next one is the bust point why the next one is on the bust length then we have our waist that's the half length okay the half length and then we have the excess left for our allowance okay so what i'll do next is mark our bust point which is eight inches divided by four four inches divided by two rather four inches i added extra half inch to it that's four and a half that i'm marking all the way down i'll take my ruler now and join the points together like so now I'll pick my tape roll and then on the under bust area I'm going to mark 1.5 in and out both on the side you see 
1.5 in and out and then come to the half length area and then mark one inch in and out on both sides that is what i mean by in and out i'll take my ruler now and connect the points like so okay i'll do it the connection of the other side also now i'll pick the cuff ruler and then make a cuff a bust cuff there do you see what the way i place my my cuff ruler i want the area curve that is why i place it that way do you see I will do the same to the other side. It's not to cut for what I want. That's why I had to pull it out and then make another cuff. Do you see what I did? I will do the same to the other side, cuffing it also. This is actually like a padded tube. Do you see? Okay, I'm just going to cancel the um, wrong connection I made initially. And then we'll proceed to the upper part of the of the dress and the mark do you see at the on the right on the left hand rather i marked 1.2 why on the right hand i'm going to mark eight inch eight inch yes okay 0 0.8 inch i mean so i'm just going to connect it do you see the cuff is coming out the bust cuff is coming out already same i will do to, to this other side of a 0.8 inch okay so i made the connection we are done with that this is like a padded tube cut now we continue to impute our second frames the first thing we are going to mark out there is our back the back we are working with is 14 inches i divided by two it gave me seven so i'll mark seven and then the darts what we are going to remove for the darts is two inches right there you see 1.2 over there at the left side and the and 0, 0.0 at the right side that is two inches i added it to the seven inches which makes nine inches i added half and a half so in allowance so it does nine and a half so what i mark there over there is nine and a half we proceed to the chest line we'll be imputing our boss circumference there the boss you are working with is 36 divided by four that's nine I added extra 3 inches sewing allowance to it and then mark 12 inches over there. The same thing we'll have on the chest line is what will extend to the bust point. Okay, so I'm just going to connect the line. Then to our under bust circumference, the circumference we are working with is 31 inches divided by 4, 7.75. And then these two this three inches that allowance that we're going to cut out i added it to it then the extra sewing allowance the same thing we have there is what we have on the half length the the waist measurement is 31 inches also i added i divided by four and then added the extra two inches that allowance and then the allowance for sewing i'll connect all the points like so and then make a cut out of the whole thing if you see that the line is not straight like it's bending at the under bust length area never mind by the time everything is joined everything will align and become normal okay so come back coming back to the to the neck area i'm just going to make a connect of the line of the points like that like so okay and then cut the whole thing out right now our front is ready as you can see this is the way we have it i'll go ahead and then use it to cut the fabric and so this is what we have afterwards i've also drawn out a pattern i'm sorry i couldn't cover that i've drawn out a pattern for the back also and then use it to cut the fabric and the lining as you can see okay so after cutting i've gone ahead to join the the front area and like you know that like i said that is padded and so that's the padded area subsequently my tutorial i'll take us through how to pad a dress that's the lining joint too so now we'll proceed to the yoke part of the dress i have folded the net and what we need as length what i'm going to cut out is six inches the actual length of the yoke part is is four inches actually so i'm just going to cut out six inches both for joining and of the neck area of the shoulder area and then the main dress okay so i will mark the back 
the back that is needed is the normal the actual back that we are going to mark out the the back is 14 inches divided by four that's seven then i added half inch joining allowance i'm going to extend the line down like that okay next we we'll impose the next circumference so the width of the neck is three inches which i'm going to mark out like that and then come to the shoulder area and make a slant using half okay i'm just going to connect the two points that's our shoulder slant and then for the width for the depth rather of the front part i'm using four inches right there and then i'm going to connect the width to the depth and cut it out i will proceed to showing you how to fix the the tube to the yoke now this is the way we want it to come out right right but then to fix it i'm going to turn the net which is the yoke on the on the tube like so you see the neck facing down and then the right side of the of the yoke facing the right side of the tube okay so i've placed my lining like so to the right side of the lining facing the right side of the ankara fabric i'll go ahead and then so join it together like this before joining the side i'll show you how it is now this is how it came out after sewing right you see the back and then the front i'm going to turn up the lining do you see the way we have it i'm going to top stitch right there and then afterward join the side but before we join the side remember we added excess to this yoke i'm going to cut the excess out and then we'll cut out our ham o before i go ahead to cutting it i just want to make sure that what i have there is 14 inches which is it so i'm going to cut it out that way guys after cutting it out i checked it i'll just go ahead to the sewing machine and fix it after fixing it guys this is the way the whole thing came out you can see the way the yoke is fixed to the the yoke is fixed to the tube and then we have it do you see how neatly sewn it is both inside and out now to the neck area i have my bias tape here all i'm going to do is use it to tape the neck and then turn it guys i've gone ahead to join the down parts to the upper part of both the back and the front and for the back for the front rather this is the way we have it afterward you can see the waist area i also use the nets i mean the lace to do a like a belt to it all i'm going to do now is join the whole thing together now i have joined it guys this is the way we have it i'm trying to push out the padded area for you to see the beauty well now we'll proceed to the sleeve part of the dress now this is our lace we are using our lace we are using both the lace and the and the ankara for the sleeve just like we have it on the thumbnail now for our basic sleeve is we're having first the basic sleeve then we'll have the ankara pleated on it for puff i marked out four inches there from the fold and they come to the edge of the fold and they marked four inches i'm just going to make the connect in s shape do you see so that's the cap of our sleeves i've imputed the sleeve length also so all i have to do now is impute the circumference so to so the cap area which is the armhole area i'm going to mark out what i have there and remember that the home we need is 18 inches okay so i marked on fold rather on fold we need nine inches so i marked out nine inches there and added two and i have sewing two extra sewing allowance the same thing i'm doing on the other length as i'm imputing their circumference you can see that i'm joining it like i said i think i promised to make um a detailed tutorial on how to make a basic sleeves which i'm still going to do but just follow the way i'm doing this all i did was to measure out the length of each part of the sleeve and then i'm imputing the circumference and then after that i'm going to pick up my scissors and then cut the whole thing out guys right here is our basic sleeve as you can see okay for the puffy part of the sleeve we are making use of this ankara and the width there is 12 22 inches right okay 
the length also i cut the length in excess so i'm going to place my my basic sleeve on it this way do you see the way i place it and then cut it out so fix the puff to our basic sleeve i'm going to mark out where exactly i want the ankara to be on this side of the on the two side i'm going to mark 10 inches that is what we have at that side i'm going to mark the 10 inches here on this side also for it to be accurate i will then open the lace this way and then pick my ankara and gather the ankara at the end and for you to know i marked out 10 inch there to fix the ankara but the the actual length of the ankara cuts out was 15 inches okay so i'm just going to pleat it the more length you have the more puffy it will be okay so i fixed i've gathered it and pleated it i've gathered it rather and fixed it to the basic sleeve as you can see all i'm going to do now is pull it up this way and then fix the x the ankara the the cap to each other so to get it accurately i'm going to um bring it together this way and then notch the center parts of the ankara i will also go ahead you know i'm trying to place it well to get the right center point i'm going to notch it i'll proceed to the net area also the cap area of the net fold it together like so and then get the accurate center of it and then notch notch it rather so after notching it guys all i will do is place the the ankara on it and then pin i will also go ahead and pin the other side in a pleated way on it do you see the edge will be connected to the edge and then i will have to pleat it in order for the a lace cap to accommodate the ankara and this is how it came out guys you see how puffy the sleeve is right i'm just going to go ahead and fix it to the dress guys if you have stayed to this time watching this tutorial i'm very sure you got value do not hesitate to give this video a thumbs up like it share it with your friend and then if you are here to subscribe to this channel do well to subscribe and this is the final look of the dress very very beautiful Guys, we have finally come to the end of this tutorial. See you in my next tutorial. Thank you. Bye-bye.